It'll be a whole different ball game at Dodger Stadium tonight, where in about 90 minutes, Governor Newsom will give his annual State of the State speech, KPI x 5s Devin Feely, on his message to voters in the middle of a recall effort. According to excerpts from the governor's speech, he will try to put a positive spin on his handling of the pandemic, telling Californians that, quote, COVID was no one's fault, but it quickly became everyone's burden. The pandemic and the governor's responses upended his political career, leaving him in the crosshairs of a recall effort and his ambitions for higher office in apparent tatters. I just believe that if you are making these very big uh, laws that you expect everybody to follow, you should also follow them yourself. Constantine Camus collected signatures in support of the recall, frustrated with what he describes as the height of hypocrisy. After the governor was caught dining at the French Laundry restaurant, while well, millions of Californians were under stay-at-home orders. I believe that he needs to be transparent. He also needs to acknowledge transgressions. The public remembers the, the French laundry. The governor's opponents have collected nearly 2 million signatures in support of a recall, which could be on the ballot this summer or fall. Supporters say they understand the public's frustration, especially with the pace of reopening the economy and the plan to reopen schools statewide. But say the governor is doing a difficult job at an impossible time. I think under the circumstances, he's done a, a pretty good job. If hypocrisy were grounds for removing people from office, there would be a great many people who would be eligible for recall. I believe that uh, he should have exercised better judgment, but that does not meet the standard to me for recalling a governor. So, Devin, was the recall effort prompted by the hypocrisy of the French laundry incident or more the governor's handling of the pandemic overall? You know, the two things really are interconnected. You can't really look at one of them in isolation. There were a lot of people who were and are frustrated with stay-at-home owners and the damage that they were doing to businesses, to people's jobs and their livelihood. But the French laundry incident really encapsulated the frustration that a lot of people feel about the apparent double standard that some politicians live by. You're asking millions of us to make sacrifices in the name of public health and then at the same time, you're holding yourself above those rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. It was admittedly a colossal political blunder. Absolutely. All right, Devin, thanks so much. Now, the first and only California governor to be ousted from office. Well, that was Gray Davis in 2003. The Bay Area, Los Angeles, the only regions to vote against the recall, which replaced the Democrat with Republican Arnold Schwarzenegger. The action movie star was one of 135 candidates on the ballot. Since California enabled the recall option for state officials back in 1911, just 10 campaigns have actually made it to the ballot, but the majority have come in the past three decades.